The Hellman system allows you to transfer the abilities of other frames onto your frame of choice and allow for incredible build variety. One of the most popular uses for this system is the transference of grouping abilities, which, well, group up enemies, and today we are going to compare all of the options available in the Helminth to find which one is best for you. Up first will be Airburst from Zephyr. Airburst has two separate functions, one on tap which will pull all enemies into the projectile when it makes contact on a surface, while the hold version does virtually the opposite, launching enemies away. Both forms ragdoll enemies aggressively, which make the use of single target non-AoE weapons something I would not recommend when using Airburst. It does do a slight amount of damage on enemies it pulls in. Interestingly, this will scale off of the amount of enemies pulled in, but it only really serves as a fun low-level nuking ability. Airburst does not require line of sight and will pull enemies through walls as much as possible as the suction effect will linger for 2 seconds upon connecting with a surface. The augment for Airburst, Airburst Rounds, gives your secondary's bonus additive damage up to 500% depending on how many enemies you affect per cast. This is why background gameplay is shown with the Latum as it deals AoE damage, something Airburst likes, and of course being a secondary, Airburst Rounds gives it a massive damage bonus. While the ability does not function on bosses or Eximus units, its quick cast and large area of effect make it a very effective grouping tool for both AoE weapons and melee, ranking it very nicely among the rest of these abilities. Up next, we have Larva from Nidus. Do note that Larva does have a range reduction when subsumed to 8 meters at base. Anyways, when casting, you will send out an infested projectile that on contact with any surface or another tap of the ability key while in air will become a mass of... something which immediately will grab all enemies within line of sight and force them into its confines. These enemies are completely immobilized and essentially fused together for all intents and purposes, while Larva will fade away if it has no enemies to continue holding, is cast with no enemies in range, or a guaranteed disappearance based off your duration stat. Unfortunately, only one Larva can be active at once, and there is no way to cancel the ability unless you kill all those within its grasp. The reduced range here is really what kills it when looking at other options like the previously covered Airburst, and sure, the Mimi Ragdoll body part quadratic scaling is cool but seldom something you'll ever need to use. One of the main places this ability is actually used and also the source of our background gameplay is Protea, yet you'll come to see why it may not even be the best for her. Larva is good but when comparing it to these other options, especially considering Nidus' awful farm, is just alright. Next up is Thermal Sunder from Gauss. This one will be quick. No pun intended. Thermal Sunder's two versions of Heat and Cold can be combined together to either push away enemies with a Cold and then Heat cast, while the opposite will pull them in. And that's about it. Sunder tends to be used in a more damage sense, and this can really be viewed as an afterthought, especially on Gauss himself, which is kind of funny because he's a great melee frame, but a double cast Thermal Sunder kind of kills everything anyways. So yeah, overall not bad, but not at all what the ability should be subsumed to do. Moving on from possibly the weakest option here to what I believe is the strongest is a little jarring, but Ensnare from Korra makes up for that. Ensnare has no downsides when being subsumed, even if it might deserve some. Casting requires a target, which when performed will bind them in chains, disabling them before after a 0.5 second delay, reaching out at all enemies within its radius regardless of line of sight, to pull them in as tightly as it can. There are some odd quirks here that elevate it above other grouping tools in my opinion. Mainly, it functions on both Acolytes and Demolists, rendering them as useless as it would on other enemies. Due to Ensnare also not ragdolling them, it makes hitting headshots incredibly easy on afflicted enemies and promotes the use of single target weapons with high punch through due to the way it bunches them up. As I said earlier, Ensnare has absolutely zero downsides when being subsumed, contrasting both Larva and Pull which are arguably worse abilities even on their base frames. One of the only possible downsides here is the 0.5 second delay after casting, preventing the ability from grouping immediately. But even at 0.5 seconds, I believe this is not a big deal at all, and it can be reduced by increasing your duration with just prime continuity, decreasing it to 0.32 seconds. Overall, Ensnare is a monster of an ability and works well on any frame you put it on. Following Ensnare will be a semi-recently buffed ability, Pull from Mag. Do note that Pull's range is reduced when being subsumed. Casting will create a vortex in front of your frame, lasting for 2 seconds and pulling every enemy within a 6 meter radius to it, including any enemies within 12.5 meters in a 90 degree cone in front of you. These enemies will all be ragdolled and take a slight amount of magnetic damage. The main use for Pull is going to be on melee builds as its high range and cone style cast make it perfect for drawing in large crowds to then hack and slash away on. Relative to other options though, Pull is just fine not excelling in any area and being basically another airburst except not in a radius. 
What Pole can do better than everyone else is loot. The Augment Greedy Pole will have Pole also attract loot drops in the same manner it does for enemies. With certain box breakers, Zaku, or Limbo builds, this is incredibly effective and what I use for my Fortuna farming. The diminished range here is unfortunate, yet really not that noticeable, as its rare tiles will be large enough for you to visually see enemies, yet not pull them in with any sort of range focused build. Compared to everything else, and pull fills a good niche while also being an effective ability in its own right. Last but not least, we have Coil Horizon from Gyre. Coil Horizon is a bit of an odd option, as like the rest of Gyre's kit, it is physics based, which makes for an odd casting experience. You essentially underhand a sphere towards the direction of your reticle horizontally, but not vertically. It can bounce off surfaces during its 2 second activation period or be cancelled prematurely and instantly start pulling in enemies. This pull effect will last for 2 seconds and deal electricity damage alongside a guaranteed status effect. This ability is kind of lacking when used on frames besides Gyre, and even then I don't see much of a reason to use it on her or any frame besides this one unique interaction, Archon Stretch. This causes abilities that deal electricity damage to trigger a plus 2 energy per second regen for 5 seconds. While 10 energy every 5 seconds is barely something I believe to be useful, it's still worth noting here. But again, Coil Horizon is just fine, basically a worse version of Airburst which IMO gets toppled by Ensnare in most cases. That does it for this video on the Grouping Helmet abilities. Let me know in the comments what you thought and which of these was your favorite. A quick reminder that I have a Patreon and YouTube memberships open, feel free to go check them out and consider supporting the channel. You get access to a whole list of benefits including getting your name alongside all these people. Thank you. Board Platypus, The Mad Monk, Scotty Nose, Young Monk, Bad Robot, Jade Rabbit, Shrike, Sage, Pretend, Sadu, Rave, Calamity, Intellectual, Nessie, SOS, Nova, Megalodon, Foxy, Heath, Corrupt, and TMBH. A little bit slower than last time, but my throat hurts. Anyways, as always, I hope this video was informative and helped you, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Peace.